Today's June 25th, 2014. Uh, yesterday in the 24th, Sony released a new 4.60 firmware update for PlayStation 3. Uh, this has since uh, disabled the functionality on Cobra or other ODEs, uh, and it has put a setback on the custom firmware scene uh, as we can't connect to PSN. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through an installation of uh, the new, uh, the first 4.60 uh, based custom firmware made by Alexander, which is called Ferox 4.60 CEX CFW. So I put it on a USB and I renamed it to PS3 Update or updat.pup and I'll install it like this. So to go through, I'll uh, just do a little bit of reading on what uh, Alexander posted with regards to his firmware. As the PS3 firmware 4.60 has promoted many developers to create spoofers and update various homebrew applications, it also marked a new wave of CFWs to hit the scene. It did not take long for developer Alexander to release the latest Ferox CFW with his Ferox 4.60 CFW for CEX. This is a standard CFW that has usual patches found in most standard flavors of CFW. To view all of the details below, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'll read the details. So the features, it's based on a OFW 4.60, so that's a bonus. He disabled the core OS and control ECDSA. Level 1 has been patched to remove protection of level 2. Level 1 has also been patched for the core OS hash check. Uh, this prevents the brick console downgrade not dehashed. I don't know what that means. So level 1 has given access to peek and poke. Level 2, peek and poke also. Compat compatibility for PS2 games. Compatibility for PSP games and PSP minis. Um, key 4.60. Start games with keys 4.xx eboot sprx. Uh, PSN or SEN is enabled. Uh, RSOD bypass for consoles that suffer RSOD. PS3 Bluetooth remote patch. PS3 Blu ray disc patch. Compatibility with latest version of React PSN. It has the App Home PS3 game icon, the install package files icon. Ability to downgrade from OFW 3.55 with QA enabled. Uh, basically, if you install 4.60 and you have the QA enabled, that means you could you could downgrade with ease. Uh, it's upgradable from any CFW, so if uh, it has support for in-game XMB screenshot feature. It has support for remote play feature. Uh, Stability as NEL OFW 4.60. I don't know what that means. Stability to downgrade from any custom firmware with QA enabled. Okay, I think I just went through that. Uh, so far, I've tested it this morning with a CECHG, a CECHH, CECH2001, and a CECH2501. Uh, on all these consoles, everything worked well. However, the only downside is that Multiman needs to be updated in order to play backups on this firmware. So there isn't any reason to update to this firmware except for maybe to play, do something stupid on PSN without a game because you can't launch a backup on this firmware without Multiman having an update. So Multiman and Dean K, the developer of Multiman, hasn't uh, gotten on top of that yet. Uh, I don't expect him to have this done in the near future because the update just came out le uh, yesterday. So for all you uh, shitting your pants over this, please be patient. Another thing he mentioned is this firmware is very similar to the 4.55 firmware and there has been no test on all models. So if you're going to uh, try this on a model that hasn't already been confirmed, tested and working, you're doing this at your own risk. If you break your own console, that's your own problem. Since you're already on CFW, and uh, to make sure you don't um, permanently brick your console, go to Multiman, do a backup of your NOR or NAND so you don't mess it up. Also, he says there's no backup manager updated. He means Multiman, basically, or other backup managers haven't been updated to uh, for compatibility with this firmware. Okay, so here is a disclaimer. Uh, please read and understand. If you plan on installing this CFW or any CFW for that matter, 
know that there is a risk that you brick your console. You may brick your console, especially if you fail to read all of the instructions and don't follow them thoroughly. If your console bricks do a CFW installation, the only person to blame is yourself, as you should have waited for a user or developer's feedback before you have installed any custom PUP file. Any new CFW release should be used only by users with way to recover from a console brick. For others who do not have hardware flashers, I strongly suggest to wait out any release and see if there is no brick reports. So use CFW at your own risk. Also, if you're going to update and you don't have downgrade hardware, uh, maybe it's a good idea that you open Multiman. Do a backup of your NOR or NAND before you start fiddling around with anything. Okay, so now that the disclaimer is out of the way, uh, I'm going to show you, I open Multiman there and I, and I am introduced with an error that this firmware is not supported. So the issue is that Multiman needs to update, uh, um, DNK needs to update Multiman in order to be compatible with this new firmware. Uh, so, as you can see, I tried to launch a game Metal Gear and it doesn't mount here. Uh, it gives you an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Multiman and I'm going to rename that uh, PUP update file and I'm going to reinstall uh, Rezero 4.55 um, and wait it out until either Multiman comes out with um, uh, Dinkay comes out with a Multiman that's compatible with 4.60 firmware or um, I don't know maybe Sony will renege on this 4.60 firmware which they've done in the past uh, they had the 4.50 firmware and then they released the 4.53 firmware and then they saw that the 4.53 firmware was doing damage to some consoles inadvertently. So you never know, you know, uh, Sony is never 100% on their firmware either when they release, so um, to be quite honest, just be patient, don't update anything. Uh, I'm just putting this video out there just for information. People are bugging me, asking me, oh, I want to go online. Well, you know what, you can, but there are risks, and this is how you're going to have to deal with it. So try it out if you're really adamant about it. If you screw up, well, you know, at least you tried, right? So. Good for you for trying. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, here I am renaming the uh, PS3 update. I'm done with the voiceover. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.